what it do y'all and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm here to bring you guys another video in my must have must gag series this is my series i created inspired by samantha march's will i buy it series i always have her series and the community playlist linked down below as well as all the instagram pages i follow to get all of this makeup knowledge and lastly but certainly not least i always have all of the items listed and linked down below if there is an asterisk behind that link that means it is an affiliated link if you shop through it i very much appreciate it otherwise no big deal at all i'm just happy that we're here to sit around talking about makeup beauty and all the things in between so with that said as you can see i've already got my makeup on lately what i've been doing is actually putting my makeup on while i do these videos but your girl is pre-filming just a tinge so we're gonna give me grace um but i also just kind of want to get back into the swing of doing these at least twice a week i mean not twice a week twice a month if not at least actively on each month so anyways i hope you guys enjoy i'm gonna scoot over and then we're gonna start talking about the new releases Alrighty, if you're interested in this makeup look, this is the look, last look with the neutrals palette. Um, this should be coming up before this video, that video, because it's pretty much done. I just have to do some swatches um, and edit it, and I'll get that done when I come back from my trip. So let's just dive into the new releases, and hopefully this won't be too, too long of a video. I don't have that many things pinned, but it also might just be me because I'm realizing some of the things at the bottom. Anyways, let's get into it. Fenty Beauty has released a new gloss balm shine. Now, I don't know if a lot of people didn't like her previous formula. I loved that formula. I went through a whole tube of a shade. I just never needed to repurchase because I have so many glossy tube type products, but I absolutely loved that formula and it looks like she has some beautiful warm nudes here. Um, there's, what is that shade? Sorta of Selfish and Spiced Cold are gonna be the two shades that I pick up. It's $25 each. They're already available, I'm sure. Yeah, that's already available. I love this type of formula to item, so I'll definitely be picking it up. And I can easily throw this in a purse, throw this at work, wherever, because I actually have a little cubicle at work, okay? Um, but anyways, I definitely will get my use out of that. So super, super excited. Um, and yeah, this is definitely a purchase for me. Too Faced is adding to the like huge single glittery eyeshadow that they did I don't, months ago. Not for me. Um, I just single shadows. I like the concept of them. I think that some of them are really, really pretty, but I never use them. I never use them. I don't. And so I need to stop buying things that I know I'm not going to use. Granted, I have a plethora of eyeshadow palettes. I get it. Speak louder, not louder, softer. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, but those are different. Those are different. These single shadows I literally never use. So this is definitely something that I will not be picking up. Also, when it comes to powders, honestly, I don't do a lot of face powders that are colored. So I'm not going to be picking up that. I tend to use like more translucent powders, but I do love a pressed powder. That is something that I do love. Loose powders to me, honestly, at the end of the day, we never get along. I get tired of them. I get annoyed by them. But a pressed powder in me, those will get along sometime, some way. Dee Dee's signature is sneak peeking that they're coming out with a new palette. Um, and I don't think they've revealed it. Have they? I don't think they revealed it or if they did it was on the story and somebody hasn't posted it I don't really know it's called glitz and glam so if I can find this on their website I will put it on the screen but it says Chromebook volume one let me check their website Glitz and Glam collection. Okay, so this has apparently been revealed. It's just a palette full of a bunch of um, shimmers and glitters and all that. Not for me. This is an easy, easy skip. Just, just not for me. 
Makeup by Mario is finally bringing some color to his range. And I must say, I am thoroughly surprised. I really love these blushes. So if you are somebody who's wanted the blush but never had a shade, I do have a shade of this and I think it's a really good formula. So I would recommend it. I also love the lip serum sticks. I have two shades. Um, love those sticks as well i just don't need any of these particular colors so it's going to be easy skip for me but i definitely think that the formulas for both of these are really really nice by beauty bay has come out with an eyeshadow palette and honestly i think this eyeshadow palette is really pretty i really really do is it one of the eyeshadow palettes that i feel like i would feel so so sad if i never got no um but i think the color scheme is really really pretty for me my eyes directly go to that dark beautiful purple and that dark beautiful green so for me since my eyes only go to those two colors i kind of just want to try to force myself to use my singles which are all back there and create like a little quad and do an eyeshadow look like i feel like that's all i would reach for in this palette so i might as well just use what i already have if that makes sense so that's probably what i will do i've been fixing to do a color scheme based on another eyeshadow palette that i saw karen harris showcase on her channel uh, i just haven't had the time to sit down and do it but i definitely want to start playing around with my singles a little bit more if nothing just to kind of talk myself out of buying some of these palettes another thing i definitely plan to get when i get those new gloss sticks from fenty are these liners i love a good liner and a brown liner on top of that goals okay and granted do i need to spend whatever the price is for these liners no it's 20 dollars. you don't need that but i i want it i do i love my makeup forever liner absolutely love that liner i love my makeup revolution liner cheap and affordable it's great but it doesn't have as much hold as the makeup forever and those are my two like go-to liners so now i want to see where fenty falls in she has plenty of browns so i'm pretty confident i'm going to be picking these up i haven't done a sephora order in quite some time quite some time so i might be making a sephora order i also have an obscene amount of ulta 20 percent off codes so we might be doing some more ulta shopping let's let's just we're we're gonna take a couple of months off from the beauty budget if you haven't noticed and we'll get back to it when we get back to it <laughs> next is another product that i'm really i honestly i'm excited I'm not gonna hold you up it is the year of blush apparently and apparently i'm on the choo-choo train likely makeup which is a brand i've wanted to pick up for a while they had a blush palette that had a yellow i've been salivating over this palette for years quite literal years because i've been salivating since they released that palette and now they have cream blushes get it together they have that burnt rich orange they have that like bright, bright pink, which I usually don't like, but it has that like undertone of lilac. What was it? The House Labs blush that really pulled me over to that? No, no, no. It's the Half Magic. So I'm probably going to get those. I'm probably going to finally get the blush palette and a partridge in a pear tree i know they have lashes too i wear lashes now so likely makeup will be purchased from soon are you excited i'm excited i'm thoroughly excited for that cannot wait i really can't rare beauty is coming out with a finishing pressed powder i think i talked about this the last time that i sat down to do this particular video and i thought it had released but now it is actually released and what i think i said then i will continue to say now is that i don't use colored powders i don't and i also don't get through my powders very very quickly and i find that to be quite frank i can settle i don't even want to say settle i think that i can use drugstore powders and get the effects that i particularly want so i'm not feeling like i have to pick up high-end powders and because that's not something that i really review a lot and i don't think you guys really come to me to review a lot 
easy easy pass on that new shades are coming out from beauty oh this is beauty creation i thought this was Too Faced. clearly that's the point okay well they're coming out with lip balms um and this is called the bomb and cute collection it's a cute collection i'm not gonna hold you up i just really thought that this was Too Faced coming out with more shades in their lipstick range but this is definitely lip balms okay it's cute i don't feel a tinge to try them i've never tried beauty creations i don't think um so yeah i'll probably skip on that another thing that i'm going to be skipping is this lys translucent loose setting powder i have their press powder i actually like it i think i have their press powder i'm sure i do because i did a full face of lys it's somewhere it's probably I, I don't know it's somewhere that's what i know but either way I'm not a huge fan of loose powder, so I'm gonna skip, although I'm sure this is a great powder. There's not been anything really that I've tried from LYS that I've hated, um, so I'm sure this is a great, great powder. The last thing that I had prematurely pinned, which really tells you how often I've been on my phone, is the new release from Sydney Grace. So if you did not know, every year they usually do kind of, um, uh, Christmas in July sale and I believe it hasn't started yet I think lately they've been pushing it towards the end of the month and basically they usually come out with new palettes this is a new palette and it's called Southern Spring this is a really pretty palette now granted I won't sit here and say that Sydney Grace comes out with the most complex textures most complex colors no they are very much a kind of caramel macchiato they're, they're a caramel macchiato you don't need any sprinkles you don't need any sauce just the caramel macchiato it has a little bit of flavor it's a little sweet but she's still a coffee a basic betty coffee if that makes sense that's what they do but they do it well they do it really really well their formulas are great all of it is great so i could definitely see me picking up their dark equivalent of this i think it looks really really pretty i have no idea when they're doing their christmas in july sale so i'll keep myself attuned to figuring that out because that will decide you know whether I pick that up now, whether I wait, because generally what you can do is you can get things for free. Um, and some years they'll give you sneak peeks on like what all you can get during the whole period of time. And sometimes they kind of do mystery deals throughout each day. So it just kind of depends on what they do. But I am very, very intrigued. Now I'm gonna go over trend mood because I feel like I didn't have much to talk about and usually I have so much more to talk about. So let's see what I can find, shall we? So I found a couple more items. Not a lot of the brands or the pages that I follow are still posting regularly. So if you have pages that are still posting very regularly please comment them down below because really i'm finding that trim mood is pretty much the only place i can go to right now a lot of people seem to have kind of gone away from posting new releases but anyways this is a new sponge from real techniques and this sponge has like grooves it looks like it pretty much is mimicking a finger yeah the application is done using your finger and it's supposed to mimic it that's very very interesting very interesting i love the innovation whether i'll actually love the application i don't know but i love the innovation it's only 8.99 um i know their last like sponge thing i did not like it so i'll probably wait maybe if i can get it on a decent sale at ulta i'll pick it up but i am intrigued to try it because i do enjoy using my fingers a lot and especially for products that say you need to use your fingers i wonder if using this tool for those products could be more applicable especially like the jones road foundation stuff like that so we'll see we'll see what happens ysl is coming out with a libra flowers and flames a de parfum this is another uh perfume in this range and it looks like they're keeping the vanilla but they're adding lily flower cocoa palm and yeah 
I don't think this is going to be one for me. I don't. Um, I have quite a few perfumes. I have. I do. Uh, and I love them, but I just... I. I think I'm good with perfumes right now. You know, I had a moment a couple of years where I was like, perfume, here, 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 here. I want it all. But I think I'm good for right now. I really want to get through my perfumes, or at least the ones that like I don't love as much. That's what I will say. Hermes is coming out with some new products for the fall winter time period. And they have some nudie lip shades, which are more on the pinky sphere. So not for me. They have two nail polishes. I won't lie. That green nail polish. Fire. That looks real, real pretty. And the quad looks interesting. Not something that I would ever pick up, but I like the concept of that quad from a brand like Hermes, you know? I really, really do. Two more things to talk about, and then it looks like we're done. Natasha Denone is coming out with a mini rose eyeshadow palette. I will say I kind of like the colors here. I think that it would be really, really pretty. The only kind of issue I have is I don't know how much depth this palette has. I would need to see this in store to see how much depth that actual brown provides and to see if this will be worth it because the other shades look really really light you know what i think i pretty much talked myself out of this for the way that i do makeup i don't think that this palette overall has the depth that i would need i have two shades in here that i think i would get a lot of use out of but everything else not so much it is 27 dollars, and if you're interested it is available now the last product is actually from ColourPop, and they are extending their wix is that the name what is it Winx, their Winx collaboration. They have a huge highlighter and then they have shadow sticks. And these shadow sticks are multi-chromes. I think that's really, really cool. Um, is it something that I'm gonna get? Probably not. I usually only use my shadow sticks quite literally to prep my eyes or when that's the only shade I want. So I don't think it's for me. It's always good when I have a decent amount of things that I think I really like and a decent amount of things that I don't think are for me. I love that for me. I really do specifically things that aren't for me. Um, but yeah, I'm honestly, I feel like I just have a revived love for makeup. I'm just enjoying using makeup, trying makeup, putting makeup on, talking to you guys about it, all of that stuff. And you know, we're just going to see how this goes. Like I said, we're going to take a pause from the beauty budget for a little bit um, and just enjoy a little bit of life. And then I'm, I'm thinking we're we're getting into the holiday season, so I'll need to really get my life. Um, but probably by my third month here, I'll probably get back to the beauty budget. I'm, I'm feeling that's like a good time to really reel her in you know but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys